Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is doing another jam session with John Arcovio here. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. I want to talk just for a few minutes today about authenticity. Of course, <clears throat> yes, that is thunder in the background. <laughs> authenticity. And that is the value of being real, genuine. No fronts, no covers, nothing to prove, nothing to hide. And authenticity touches several areas of our life. It touches our lifestyle. It also touches friendships, relationships, everything that we do. Paul talked about in the Word about being sincere. And the actual Greek word is sinceri, which is without wax. He's talking about the... Um, valuable marble Roman um, busts or heads that they would make that they could determine their value by them being without wax. Sometimes in the process of making or uh, they can become cracked. And so they would go and they would rub wax into the cracks and then paint over it. But if you took these uh, busts and put them up to the light of the sun, then the cracks would show through. And Paul was using that illustration to say, let your life be without cracks. Let your life be without uh, areas of disconnect. Uh, too often in religion, we're taught to be one thing behind a pulpit, one thing in a group of religious people, one thing in a setting that is church or religious, and then a whole other thing somewhere else. I believe part of authenticity is living a lifestyle that says what you see is what you get. Uh, I'm not going to try to put a front on. I'm not going to let you push me to put a front on for you. But I'm going to live an authentic, transparent life. Transparency is so refreshing in this day and time. We live with so much fake going on around us. So many people that, that you know, it's, it's, it's all about the package. It's all about the presentation, the front. And I, it's just so refreshing when you come around people that are authentic. I myself appreciate authentic relationships. I believe authenticity in relationships is being real, letting people speak into your life. You know, if there's mud on my face, tell me. Speak straight to me with love about what's going on because iron sharpens iron and we can't see our own faults and flaws and thank God for those true friendships. I know here in um, Houston, the, the past two years I've been here, I formed a very close relationship and connection with Pastor Andrew Hurd of Inspire Church. And one thing about Pastor Andrew is is just that drew me to him, besides his humility and his love for the kingdom, his love for Jesus, but he he has authentic humility. You know, he really is a genuine person. And these relationships are so important. And we gotta understand this when we step into relationships. Relationships can't be about you scratch my back I'll scratch yours. What can I get, you know, from you? And unfortunately, sometimes that's the way it is when you, you know, uh, catch the quote-unquote elevator of success. That you begin to rise up in in perceived authority, perceived position, perceived importance. Then all of a sudden, friends come out of the woodwork. But unfortunately, these are not authentic relationships. And even churches some, sometimes cease to be authentic because they love bomb you but they're not really loving you from genuine sincerity of the heart. They're loving you to get you into a system, to get you into a position, into a place, to really use you, to use you for finances, to use you for nickels and noses and numbers, and, and, and to have warm bodies to, 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 to do things. And we've got to seek to be authentic, really sh see people of value, and not just see them of value, but so into them. We're not in the real estate business, pastors. And too many, sometimes I look at pastors and I think they're about amassing uh, buildings and, and, and attendance and, and money. And it's about affecting people and helping them to achieve their dreams, adding something to their life, influencing them for the better using whatever gifts God's given to you and the favor God puts up in your life and realizing those gifts and favor upon you to bless those around you that he loves. So being authentic is so vital. You know, I, I constantly check my relationships to make sure 
that they are authentic, that friendships are authentic. There's no hidden motive. There's no strings attached. You know, Paul said, let your love be without dissimulation. Dissimulation means strings attached. Our love needs to be genuine, pure, and authentic. And to show that in friendship. If you want to have a cup of coffee with someone, let it be a cup of coffee. Just to talk about life and to share. And to iron sharpen iron. Don't let there be a hook there. You know, some people say, hey man, let's get a cup of coffee. Let's get a cup of coffee. And I'm so disappointed when we get together and find out they're trying to sell me something. They're trying to sign me up to something. They're trying to get something from me. And, and that gets old quick. So let's strive to have authentic relationships and be authentic in our walk with God. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for joining us with this short session, uh, the jam session with John Arcovia that we do each day. Have an awesome day.